Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And welcome to our Out of the Theater spoiler-free review of Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom. The Lost Kingdom. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Initial thoughts. <laughs> so, this was three movies in one. Yeah. So there was the movie that Jason Momoa was in. There was the CGI movie. And then there was everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, Jason Momoa was being all Jason Momoa, which is fine. The CGI was amazing. Yeah, it's really, really good. And was everybody else was super serious. Well, and it was just like, I mean, there was some, wow. There was some words that came out of people's mouths, and I was like, somebody wrote that on paper. Yeah. <laughs> I. I, I think I'm going to like this a little bit more than she is because about halfway through the movie, I'm just like, I'm going to lean into the camp of it all. Yeah, it was campy. And, 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 and like, I, I can, as long as I know that that's what we're getting once we get there, I, I'm okay with leaning into the camp. Um, but I, I think they had something that they wanted to do with this movie. And then the DC EU exploded around them. And so they just decided to wrap up the story of Arthur as Aquaman, um, and as it, it, and Jason as Aquaman because he's going to be Lobo. Right. That's 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 the worst kept secret in the entire planet is he's going to be Lobo. Um, but uh, I liked the camp of this. I enjoyed the fight scenes, but there's a couple of times where there's some, they're trying to slow down and be serious that doesn't match the tone of the camp. Yeah, yeah. You can be serious in a campy movie, but the tone has to be right, and the tone is not right. And and I think one of the benefits of the time that they got to, the extra time they got to spend um, was the CGI is amazing. All the underwater stuff looks real. Every character that is not human it looks realistic, and it's amazing. The drawback of all that extra time is they got to fiddle with it. Yeah. And the more they fiddled with it, I think. And there's some other issues outside of the movie around one of the uh, one of the actors who I think had a much much more of a role that would have been the bridge between the camp and the serious. And I think they took a lot of that out. Yeah. I I think I've heard that that some of that was They took they took that character out all, um as much as they possibly could. And it shows. If you know. Um but Jason Momoa is awesome. And um uh uh oh what's his name that freaking plays Orm is the perfect straight man for Jason. I can see it. I can't think of what it is. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, and whenever we get to see some more Morrison on screen, it's always it's always a bonus. I, it, it, and without his helmet, it's even better. Uh, but, yeah, I just... I, I liked it. Check. Let's... It's... That part of the DCEU is gone. The DCU with James Gunn um, is coming forward... And we'll 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 be able to kind of get a better story, cohesive story going forward. Yeah, hopefully Warner Brothers doesn't stick their fingers in it. Uh, anyways, I don't trust Warner Brothers. I just don't. Um, but I trust James Gunn. Right. So. So there's hope. I'm just, just, there's there's going to be hope. <laughs> right. Uh, score. Six. Seven. Like I said, I think I'm going to like a little bit more than she did. Um, uh, the theater was less than half full. Um, it's This is a, a visual spectacular, so you should see it in the big theater. Um, but uh, uh, spend time with your family. <laughs> if you want something to do with your kids next week when they're out of school, you take them to go see this. Take them to go see this. They'd have fun. Yeah. I mean, there's not... 
you know, there's there's a little blood in the water at one point, and I think Jason might have said shit. Shit. Um, <laughs> there is, however, the James Wong of it all, who is the director, <laughs> and he is a horror director first. And they definitely leaned into the horror multiple times. Yeah, yeah, you're older kids, not like... Yeah. Not like six-year-old. But Take them to Wonka. But ten-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. So that is our thoughts on Aquaman the Lost, the Lost Kingdom... Let us know what you thought of this reaction and the movie itself in the comments down below. Please be nice. It's a requirement around here. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications because it's free and it helps us out. And follow us, uh, follow us on all the social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Links in the description down below. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, and good night now.